today on Florida Sport Fishing. How's that for your double header? Yes, sir. That's Bully Ridge, baby, right there. You got his finest. <laughs> you do not see that every day. That's just the first quarter, folks. Look at that. That is some good eating fish. We'll see it for the night bite. Pulley Ridge red grouper. Again, every drop, one drop, big red grouper, next drop a mutton. That's a red baby. Ho ho, what on? CD Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing, television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. There's a sailfish, already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on, another one on. <laughs> Woo! Nice, that's what it's all about right there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Florida Sport Fishing utilizes and proudly endorses Ghost, the global leader in boat security, monitoring, tracking, and surveillance. VMC, tired of missed strikes? Fish the hooks the pros fish, fish VMC. Fortress, the world's best anchor, stronger, faster, lighter. Motor Guide, the most dependable trolling motors on the water. And Stingray Tackle, shop where the pros shop. Shop at StingrayTackle.com. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike. I'm here with my co-host, Captain Carlos Rodriguez. What's going on, guys? Guys, we've got an absolutely sick episode in store for you. We're aboard the legendary Yankee Captain's 100-foot party boat sailing from Key West. These guys have pioneered dry tortugas bottom fishing over the last 30 years. I mean, really extraordinary yeah, stuff. In. Oh, they certainly do. But over the last year, they've been exploring a new area called Pulley Ridge. Very, very few anglers have had an opportunity to fish out here. Carlos, we're what, 120 to 140 miles off yeah. the beach? Mm -hmm. You know, Lovely. so we are way, way out here. We've been steaming all night. This is a really deep water reef from 600 to 1,200 feet deep. Both of us have had an opportunity to fish out here a few times last year. What can we expect to catch during the day, Carlos? Well, that's what's so cool, man. It could be golden tilefish, black snapper, um, snowy grouper, yellow edge grouper. I mean, the list goes on and on. Green snapper, yeah. barrel fish. I mean, yeah. like you said, the variety is just absolutely awesome. Yeah. And what makes it even better, this is like two different fisheries. During the day, we're gonna be deep dropping, right. but at night, what are we gonna be doing at night? We're gonna be jigging for tuna, buddy, and yeah. catching That's snapper. Right, baby. <laughs> so it's a whole different fishery at night. Like I said, we're gonna be out here for a couple yeah. days. Captain Greg is just looking around to get us set up on the perfect spot. Mm -hmm. Stick around, let's see if we can get hooked up. Check it. Key out here when you're deep dropping is making sure you keep that rig right on the bottom. These fish are all related right to the bottom. The snappers, the groupers, they're all feeding right off the reef down there. So get it down there. You want to use just enough lead. You know, if you can get away with two pounds, you don't want to fish four pounds. But at the same token, you want that presentation to be as vertical as possible. So I'm on my way down here. And then what I'm going to do once I hit the bottom is I just constantly monitor that line with my fingertips. I'm keeping that spool open. This way, as we drift along, if we're drifting over the edge and it's getting a little bit deeper, I can pay out just a little bit of line at a time to make sure that my rig is staying right in the strike zone. And that's really the key. And again, when you detect a strike, because we're fishing circle hooks, it's not a question of setting the hook. It's just a question of locking up, reeling up the slack, and nine out of 10 times, that hook will just grab that fish right in the corner of the mouth. Those VMC 90 circle hooks work absolutely amazingly well. Still got a ways to go, but I got them coming. I think it's a grouper. Feels like a snowy. Maybe about a five pounder, eight pounder, whatever, but they're all good dropped off into a little bit of a deeper ledge here. We're probably at about 900 feet, eight to 900 feet. Got down there and got crushed. A couple other real nice fish come up on the boat. These trips are really limited load aboard the Yankee captains here, these pulley ridge trips. They're three days and the captain definitely doesn't crowd the boat. About 20 guys. It's just perfect when you're deep dropping. You're gonna have some tangles, but everybody works together. Excellent mates and you end up having an exceptional trip. 50 feet to go. 
Nice, not a monster, but it's an average little snowy. Look at them beautiful dots on there. That pattern is just absolutely incredible. And that big mouth, get some beautiful fillets off that fish right there. And again, that's just one of the many species that you're gonna catch deep dropping out here. Get this guy on ice, drop down a couple more baits and catch another one. You need another gap on the other one. There you go. Nice job, pal. Oh yeah. Sweet. Dude, that's a nice grouper. That's a nice grouper, man. Awesome. How's that for your double header? Yes, sir. That's Bully Ridge, baby, right there. You. At its finest. <laughs> awesome. Nice fish, bud. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. Introducing Sea Deck, a shock absorbent non skid material manufactured from UV protected foam specifically formulated for marine applications. Sea Deck's comfortable and durable surface protects your deck, reduces noise, and improves the look and value of any boat. Available in a range of colors, Sea Deck is fully customizable and easy to apply with a marine grade peel and stick adhesive. Visit SeaDeck.com for a complete line of retail products. Surprisingly affordable, incredibly versatile. Tired of empty coolers? Book an overnight trip aboard the 100-foot Yankee Captains to the world-famous Dry Tortugas and catch trophy snapper, grouper, king mackerel, and more. Fishing these rich waters for 25 years, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or relax on the spacious upper deck. With full galley and huge fish boxes, the only thing you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West, Florida, year-round. Want more power and increased towing capacity? California Customs goes beyond the hitch. Let us transform your truck into the ultimate tow vehicle. Two and four wheel drive, California Customs does it all. Towing accessories and load control systems, lift and leveling kits, custom wheels and tires, performance upgrades, toolboxes and bed covers, plus all of your audio, lighting and security needs. California Customs, let us make your vehicle what you really wanted all along. It's always a good idea when the boat stops to just give it a minute to settle in before deploying your rig. So I like to just wait a minute because the boat's going to come around, get caught by the wind. If you drop your rig too early, it's going to happen. You're going to eventually get tangled with a few guys around you. But it looks like looks like we're settled in here. So down to the bottom we go. Right? Yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, look at that one, look at that one. Stopping the drag. Yeah. Double header, you got two, dude. You hook these fish, a lot of guys end up losing them because they're too aggressive. You gotta just slow it down, man. Even deep drop fishing is finesse fishing. Just take your time. You know, you got a decent fish on. Take your time bringing them up, man. There's no rush. And that's gonna put more fish in the boat for you. Little golden tile fish. Obviously much different than the grays. You can see these goldens have these absolutely beautiful, beautiful yellow dots on them. I mean, look at that coloration. Just another one of the many deep water grouper, snapper, Tile fish, you know, just so many different deep water species down there. You know, fish and pulley ridge is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. You do not see that every day. Look at that mouth. It's like right a perch mouth. Dude, right? Look at that eye. I mean, the eye is just <laughs> absolutely wicked. Gnarly. You know, one drop, you pick up something like that. The next drop, you get a little juvenile golden tile. 
who knows what's next, but I can't get over that gullet. I mean, look at that thing. It's like a bass mouth. Dude, it's just thumb them like a bass. Yeah. Very, very cool. There's no escaping. That's an amazing fish right there. That is not something that you see every day. Only at Pulley Ridge, baby. Gear Guide, brought to you by Pelagic, high performance offshore gear. Hey guys, welcome to this episode's Gear Guide. Getting ready to head down to Key West to go out on a three day deep drop adventure to Pulley Ridge. The question, what do you bring? The answer, everything. Remember, it's like a three day camping trip. Change of clothes, light rain gear, toiletries, sunscreen, small first aid kit, anything that you may need on a camping trip, you're gonna need here. Sleep bag and pillow so you're comfortable at night. Like I said, remember, it's like a camping trip. Let's get to the good stuff. Tackle, two big coolers. I bring one frigid rigid packed with fresh bait and ice. I bring a second cooler packed in ice, beverages, snacks. On the way home, both of those coolers are gonna be filled with fish, mark my words. Tackle, my power assist deep drop rod for daytime fishing, my eight foot mutton rod to fish up on the bank at night, a vertical jigging rod so I can jig blackfin tunas all night, and you'll notice I bring two of everything. It's more than 100 miles off the beach, something fails, something breaks, I don't wanna be left empty handed. Plenty of leader material, plenty of extra hooks, sinkers. Remember, daytime, nighttime fishery, two different things. Daytime fishing is deep dropping. You need two pounds, three pounds, and four pound sash weights. Nighttime, egg sinkers, four, six, and eight ounce egg sinkers. These are gonna cover all of the bases. Do it right, I've been out there many times. I've learned a thing or two. I'm telling you, if you're properly prepared, you're gonna stay tight. Nice golden towel right there. Again, Captain. Nice job, Roy. Thank you. That's an absolute trophy fish that Roy, one of the passengers, just landed. I'll tell you what, that's a once in a lifetime fish right there. Just an absolutely beautiful slob golden tile fish. A fish right there, that flesh tastes just like lobster. That's why you put in all of the time at the rail. You come out, all of the preparation, all the hard work catch fish like that right there. Makes it all worthwhile. So, you're looking for a place to go on vacation. Where the water is warm. And the nights are hot. A place to remember. A place to get lost. Or blend in with the crowd. A place that defines your individuality. A place to test your skill at something new. A place that feels like home away from home. Visit Jacksonville, Florida. Introducing the Bubba Blade 9 inch tapered flex fillet knife. Right through the bones it goes. The 9 inch tapered flex combines the power of the 9 inch flex and the flexibility of the 7 inch tapered flex into one ultimate fillet knife. This is the 9 inch tapered flex. Still comes with the patented Bubba Blade handle. Quick cut, look at that, one slice. See the flex on that blade, look at that. Just like that. Go to BubbaBlade.com now and order your nine inch tapered flex today. Underwater fish light adds a beautiful glow to your water line while attracting fish for both viewing and sporting pleasure. You will be amazed by the amount of life in the waterways behind your home. And if you don't live on the water, Underwater Fish Light has a portable system that's perfect for night fishing and exploring from your boat. See for yourself what lies just below the surface with Underwater Fish Light. Fish guaranteed. The Mercury Verado, outstanding corrosion protection, proven reliability. Yeah. And it comes with all this. Meet Tom from Customer Support. Whoa, he's a hugger. Huh? Not really into that, Tom. Thank you. This is Nick from Field Testing, runs these babies thousands of hours. They're solid. Nick? This is Cheryl and Bobby, our prop engineer. He turns horsepower into performance. Oh, and the rest of the gang's here. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Meet the rest of the team at mercurymarine.com. Tom, the hugger. We're out here on another drift, Pulley Ridge, 140 miles outside of Key West, way out in the Gulf. It's the end of our, we're coming to the end of our first day out here. We've been deep dropping all day, crushing the groupers, variety of snappers, 
We've had some exotic species mixed in, had an absolute ball. And we're gonna keep deep dropping while it's still light, maybe another hour or so. Then we'll have some dinner, get cleaned up, and transition to the night bite. And that's a whole different fishery. We're gonna go up on the edge, some shallower water, change our tactics, change our gear, change the targeted species. But I'll tell you what, it is just absolutely awesome out here. So stick around. We're gonna see if we can get a couple more fish here during the daylight until we get on that hot night bite. Even though you're fishing electric reels, again, it's all about finesse. It's about using the equipment. You've got a drag, you've got an adjustable speed. It's not as simple as on or off. There's so much more to successful deep dropping than simply on or off. Doubled up. Doubled up, baby. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Think that fish was hungry? Two hooks right there. Ate both baits. So that's two VMC 90 circle hooks in the corner of its mouth. That snow we wasn't going anywhere. Awesome. Look at that mouth. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, makers of the finest monofilament and braided fishing line in the world. The debate over utilizing electric deep drop reels over manual equipment is one that rages on. Purists often compare electric fishing reels to commercial fishing with very little sport involved. This statement may have had some validity with yesteryear's big bulky equipment, but today's compact power assist reels have been designed to fish under the arm rather than out of a rod holder and are barely larger than comparable manual reels. These are specialized tools with smooth drags and variable speed motors suited for certain applications, very much like electric kite reels and electric downriggers, additional innovations that offshore anglers use to maximize their time on the water. Even with a mechanical advantage, fishermen still need to apply the same fundamentals, including focusing their efforts on waters likely to hold the target species, utilizing proper rigging techniques, and fighting fish with finesse. It's true, power assist reels should not be used in everyday applications, but when it comes to extreme deep dropping and depths approaching 1,000 feet, power assist reels are quickly gaining in popularity. Big tile, big gray tile, a little snowy grouper. How about that for a pulley ridge double header? Some good eats right, right there. That there. is the special. That is the special. Nice and easy. Once you're hooked up to a quality fish, no rush. Just take your time hauling them up 500, 600, 700 feet, however deep. Got them? Yeah. We got a double header. Double tiles. Double, double. All right. Look at that. That is some good eating fish. Hard fighter, 700 feet, it's on. How's that for a double header? Solid eight pounds. Gorgeous, beautiful fins, beautiful coloration. That's why we come out here. Tell you what, stick around. We'll see it for the night bite. Are you ready to get hooked up? Whoa! Florida Sport Fishing is the number one resource for the latest tips, tricks, tactics and techniques for inshore and offshore. Each issue is jam-packed with useful articles, easy to follow illustrations and award-winning photography. Only $30 for two years. For immediate home delivery, visit floridasportfishing.com slash TV. Subscribe today and receive a free shirt and Florida Sport Fishing Hoorag. Chaos is tragic. Chaos can be awesome. Yo, another one on, another one on. <laughs> With Chaos Fishing, it's your rod your way. Quality components and personalized service from a legendary builder equal the right rod at the right price every time. Shop online for a complete selection of serious fishing equipment. Or visit Chaos's new superstore and receive a free t-shirt with every rod purchase. Chaos Fishing Gear Matters. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go?
It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MMT chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. Florida Sport Fishing has been proudly presented by Fishity, the maps to plan, the tools to catch, the option to brag. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest dealer has the right trailer at the right price. Rugged Shark, technical footwear designed for angling and boating enthusiasts. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers and freezers on the water. Salt Life, ask for them by name and see what you've been missing. Sound like a mutton. Yep. <laughs> nice. Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. We just got set up here at night, up on the edge. Had an absolutely phenomenal day deep dropping. Caught some incredible fish. And now we're up here chasing some of these muttons. And who knows what else we may tangle with. Stick around. Now what's cool about this, again, there's so many different fish that feed and thrive up here in these shallower waters. We're fishing about 200 feet. Every bait that gets to the bottom, you just don't know what's gonna eat it. What I like to do is I take a goggle eye, sliced in half, big VMC 7.0, right? Right in the nostril, like that. Make sure that hook is fully exposed. And then here's a little secret for you. Put them on the ground and I smush them. Get a little bit of that love juice going. And that's it, get it right to the bottom. Right now we're drifting, we're not on the anchor. So you wanna keep feeding that line out real slow until something picks it up, lock up, and you're tight, baby. Ooh, that is a big scam. Wow, that is an absolutely beautiful fish. Look at that, look at that. Can't believe he ate it on the way up like that. That was crazy, dude. That's looking like a blackfin, buddy. Oh yeah, nice one. Yeah. Blackfin tuna, people. Another one of the species here that you can run into at Pulley Ridge. You just don't know what can happen. I mean, I was down there bottom fishing for snapper and grouper, reeling up the bait, and this thing ate my chunk bait. Pretty crazy. Let's go see if we can catch another one. Leah's gonna love me for that one. That's a dandy. How's that for a beautiful Pulley Ridge red grouper? If you're an avid bottom fisherman, if you like snapper and grouper fishing, you need to log on to yankeecaptains.com and book yourself a trip to Pulley Ridge because this is an experience <clears throat> you're not going to get anywhere else. That's why we come. You know, one thing, guys, that's really important to point out is your leader, tackle failure. If that leader is chafed, you've really got to switch it out. What I like to do is fish a six to eight foot leader. Every time I reel in that bait, I feel the end of that leader. As you can see, it's a little bit chafed right there. So I don't need to re-rig the whole outfit. All I'm gonna do is just cut off that little chafed piece, retie on the hook, and I know I'm back in business. I'm telling you something that simple. You hook a big grouper, a big monster mutton snapper. If that leader is chafed, you're gonna lose that fish. So spend the extra minute to avoid losing fish that you could have landed over something as simple as just tying a new knot. Ooh, <laughs> fatty. This thing is down there crushing crabs, lobster, shrimp, squid, flying fish, anything this thing wants to eat, it's eating. Again, every drop, one drop, big red grouper, next drop a mutton. You know, I can't stress enough, I mean, the tackle plays such a big role in this fishery. You need sensitive gear, you've gotta be able to feel what's going on 200 feet below the surface. Awesome. Now we're fishing an eight foot, Chaos graphite rod, custom rod built specifically for mutton fishing because ultra light titanium guides. When you're fishing for hours on end with the rod under your arm, you want something that's really light. Matched to a Daiwa Saltis 50, black gold star drag reel, 
loaded with 30 pound diamond braid with a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. Just an absolutely perfect setup. Look, the fish comes with salad. That's a red baby. Carlos and I both just got crushed simultaneously and each just caught an absolutely awesome fish. I've got a jumbo red grouper. That's a nasty. And you got yeah. a trophy mutton snapper. Yeah. I mean, that's just what is so incredible about this fishery. We had an incredible time deep dropping during the day, but the nighttime fishery out here in Pulley Ridge is absolutely fantastic. Hey, I'll tell you what, make sure you stay tuned. Check us out next week for part two of our Pulley Ridge adventure. We'll see you. It only gets better. Another nice snowy on the boat. It's the Home Fishing Network. I'm fishing in your home. I got a snowy grouper. This time I'm going for a summertime grouper. If I catch a tuna, I'm going to be like, drop my reel in the water until Evels has left the building. Nice golden tile right there. Got his nerf. Nope. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit FloridaSportFishing.com and get hooked up.